So the plan is to sail down to Newtown Creek to view the numerous birds there and hopefully catch sight of the seals that seem to have taken up residence in the creek. It's a lovely day and we have a following wind, a very gentle introduction to sailing for Lucy. As you can see it's really hard work at the moment, there's so much to do. We've got wind against tide still and uh, it's making it a bit rolly. Uh, but we've got about 17 knots or we're against a couple of knots of tide at the moment. We're doing 5.5 uh, knots through the water but barely 4 knots over the ground so uh, hopefully that will, well not hopefully, it will uh, drop off soon and uh, we'll have the tide with us which will make life a bit more comfortable. We're just uh, off cows now and coming round to a course to take us to Newtown Creek. And that has brought the wind a bit more off the beam and stopped Zephyr for rolling so things are much more comfortable on board. That's the Isle of Wight Ferry just crossing our bows. We are just going past West Cows and heading along the coast to Newtown Creek. Just going past Cows, we need to harden up quite a bit now to get up into uh, into Newtown Creek, which is down there, look. But that's making a video. Yeah. Oh. So here we are in Newtown Creek. We've got the last mooring buoy right at the southern end of the creek, which will be ideal for seal spotting. In the morning, the intrepid pair decided they needed to get closer to the action. So they pumped up the Avon dinghy. And after deciding who was going to sit where and who was rowing, I cast them off and away they went. Well, it might be difficult to row from, from that position. Well, you're sitting on the seat, Luke, so do you want to row? I can row. Okay. Don't worry about the rope, I'll, get, I'll sort the rope out yeah, for you. Fine. Don't lose the oar. No. Oh, is, is Lucy Lucy rowing now then? She's rowing now, but looks on it. Okay, I'll let you off, hang on. I was a bit concerned. There was quite a wind and they didn't seem to be making much progress against it. I could see them stuck on the muddy bank if the rowing didn't improve. But they eventually made it back and we cast off and made our way out up to the Solent on a quest to find red squirrels. The best place to see red squirrels I was told was Brownsea Island in Poole Harbour. So we sailed west, out past Hurst Castle and headed into the channel and to Poole. So 
superb sailing conditions, a good stiff breeze and pretty much a broad reach, Zephyr 4 is really hurrying along. We'll soon be in pool. past Hengersbury Head, that's the promontory uh, seaward side of the Christchurch. This is Hengersbury Head on the chart, on the chart plotter. We're down here and we're going to, X marks the spot which is the entrance buoy to Pooh Harbour. And at the moment plotter is talking to the autopilot and uh, making sure we get there, it's brilliant. We arrived safely a few hours ago and anchored up on the west side of Brownsea Island. This is the night view over to Pool and the ferry terminal. And here is the sharp contrast of the dark shore of Brownsea Island. I'm sure we'll sleep easy tonight. Here we are, just arrived in the dinghy on the bank of Brownsea Island and the boats <laughs> out there. There she is, alongside that post. After a short walk, we came across this peacock, quite unperturbed by our presence. The bright iridescent colours indicates a male, but judging by the shortness of his tail feathers, may be quite young. The bright feathers are quite a contrast to the pea hen, which we came across a little further down the road. We were still hoping to catch sight of a red squirrel. One of the volunteers had told us they were about, and then Lucy spotted one, and for the first time for all of us, we saw one, only briefly and from a distance. Just keep watching this video, there's more to come. I hope you're enjoying our little adventure. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the red box bottom right. Isle of Man. So it's a room organ or a chamber organ. 
uh, and it came here in the 1980s. It's got footnotes, but all they are is coupled, like our Trevor Coupler and our face oh, coupler yeah, on that. Yeah. And I'm not an organist, so I don't use those, and very few of our organists who are organists even use them. Dave is pumping and watching the air gauge. The more stops you have out, the richer sound you get, so he has to work harder. And that's where you get the same pull out all the stops. Uh, built in 1863, possibly on the organ register, I think, would originally have had ivory keys uh, and wouldn't have had any footnotes. Right, well, pump again, I'll do one more. That was fun. Always wanted to hand pump a pipe organ. Baden Powell held his first scout camp here. It's still used by lots of scouts and guys today. And this is his memorial. And after that, it's time for lunch. The outside seating in front of the restaurant looks straight out over to the entrance of Poole Harbour and the car ferry goes from Sandbanks to Studland. After lunch we made our way back to the boat but on the way we met the volunteer lady we talked to earlier and she told us there were red squirrels on the ground a bit further on so we walked quietly to try and find them. And there they are, they're very fast little creatures and difficult to follow with the camera. I've done my best. Someone had left some hazelnuts on top of the tree stumps and the squirrels were collecting them one by one and burying them, squirrelling them away. I got the impression that other squirrels would then dig them up and move them somewhere else. In the end we just sat quietly on a log as they cavorted all around us. I took lots of video for over an hour, far too much to include in this video, but I will make another video later just about the Brown Sea Island red squirrels. Eventually we returned to the boat, somewhat euphoric and hardly believing what we had seen. Ten o'clock, Brown Sea Island, the winds are starting to fill in and we're just about to, uh, to get underway.
very light winds, plagued by motorboats. We're making our way along the coast. We're going to be tacking acro across in a minute and heading towards the Isle of Wight, but at the moment we're just getting out further into the channel where there'll be a bit more wind, we hope. Lovely, lovely morning, but the visibility is not all that good uh, with uh, the heat haze. Very warm, 25 degrees at the moment. Well, Predict Wind got it right again. Uh, they said that it would be, there would be more wind further out, and uh, so we, further out we're getting into the channel. Uh, the wind strength's gone way, way, way up. We're up uh, around 16, 17 knots of wind at the moment, so we're chunking along at a good five and a half, uh, heading further out into the channel. Eventually we'll, uh, uh, we'll tack, and that sh with a bit of luck we'll get up all the way to the Needles or to Hearst Castle in one big tack. Uh, in, in quite good wind conditions as well. The Isle of Wight is over there somewhere, as you can see, completely obscured by uh, this low mist. Well, we've run out of wind, unfortunately, so we're mo motoring now and heading for the Needles Channel. Shame, really, it's very hot, 28 degrees at the moment, but uh, fortunately it's a bit cooler out here. Yarmouth Harbour has done us proud again. We've got a nice uh, alongside berth. And uh, tonight it food and shower and all that sort of good stuff. And then we'll be on our way back to Gosport tomorrow. It's a very quiet morning in Yarmouth today. Flat calm, not a breath of wind. Looks like it will be a long motor from here to Gosport. We're sloshing along gently towards Gosport. It's over there, and we're having to tack. We've got the wind against us, we're having to tack, but it's a good steady breeze. Most unexpected because we really did think it was going to be completely windless today, which is how it started. 